Hello! So, today we have long-awaited Black Moon Cosmetics watches. I've been postponing this video for like forever because in winter the light is shit and basically like it doesn't have a point to make lipstick swatches when the light is shit. You get me? So, but today is the day. I'm gonna start with nude colors and my favorite nude color from, from Black Moon Cosmetics is this one and it's called Bones. It looks really pale on the model, but actually on me it looks like perfect nude because I'm super pale as you can see. I look like a ghost right now and with dark hair like super like ghost, but I enjoy that look. Uh, also, I will try and always insert a picture after I swatch the lipstick, so you get the idea. I hope I have photos with all the lipsticks. We'll see. So, this one is Bones. And it's really perfect nude for pale skin. It seems like it has cool undertone and it is just it is really nice, it is good for summer, good for winter and it is also good like if you line your lips with another color and then put this nude over it, it looks really nice and it gives your lips dimension so I really enjoy this color, it's really nice and I'm happy I got it even though I was worried it will be too pale even for me but it isn't. Another, another lipstick I have is this one and it's called Gloom and it was supposed to be like beige color at least it looked like beige color on other people on me it looks basically just like color of my lips yeah I, I was I was a little bit disappointed with this lipstick because I was really expecting like the true beige something like the NYX uh, lip lingerie in shade Scandalous. I really wanted to go for something like that because I love Black Moon Cosmetics formula and not so much of the NYX lipsticks. But I really wanted to go for something like that, but I enjoy to wear this when I like have the don't want to wear lipstick day. But I was just expect expecting something else. But I wear it a lot, even though it's not what I wanted. The darkest nude I have is from the like collection they launched in autumn, I think, and it's called Haunting. Really pretty autumnish color, it has like pinkish undertones but at the same time it's cool undertoned and it's really pretty color, I wore this a lot in autumn it's really good when you like want to have lipstick but you don't want to get too crazy with like purple or black another lipstick I also wear kind of like a nude but no, it's not really a nude and it's this one, it is called Ghost and it's there, like light purple. It looks really different on the model on the website. It looks really cool toned and super pale, but it's nothing like that. I, I will show you. It's more warm toned purple, it, is, it has like cool pinkish tones in it and Basically, it is like pinkish nude to me because I, I have like basically I have gray skin, I would say. It has like pinkish tones and it looks I don't know, it looks really good and it's uh, good to wear every day because it's not too crazy. It is just it's really nice color. Now, this one is probably one of my most favorite and it's their gray and it's called Ashes and it's like the true grey, it is purple based and it looks really grey because I had lipsticks, they looked blue and they looked black but they didn't look grey but this one is like true grey and I love it about, like I, I just love it 
it's it's the best gray ever now i have three super dark shades and let's stay in a purplish note and this one was my first purchase from black mom cosmetics and the lipstick is called purgatory it's this super nice burnt purple shade it's really dark and I have worn it a lot recently I enjoy like lighter lipsticks but with dark lipstick this is like a boss because it's just like it's really pretty it's if you don't want to go straight up black this is your choice because it's I don't know it's just really nice color and I really like to wear it another one is called Abyss and it's like dark red and this one for for some reason the red one smells really bad but it's not like like it's not like spoiled or anything it just I think it's because the pigment the lipstick smells so weird because uh, as for light lipstick they all smell the same but as for dark lipsticks each one of them smells a little bit differently and I think it's because the pigments but the, the red smells awful I mean you can't feel it when you have it on your lips but when you like smell to it it's bleh. but it's really pretty color it is like it is like purple base red a little bit I don't know it is like it's really dark and usually I really hate red lipsticks on me because I feel it doesn't suit me and it does make me look old but this one I like this this is the one I like it's not my favorite but I like it this is the only red I like on me and the last lipstick of course it's black one and it's called sleepwalker and this is the blackest black of all blacks it is so pigmented and it lasts whole day it is just great I and I don't know why but it smells like matcha latte to me I don't know why but it smells really good and I mean this is one swipe and look how dark it is I love it this is the best black lipstick ever and now I have three other products the first one is Cosmic Eye Dust it's like their liquid eyeshadow and this one is in shade Nebula and it's basically a black based liquid eyeshadow with purplish glitter which changed their color to like almost green I don't know, it changes color, but it it looks really pretty bright purple on your eyes usually. So I wore it a lot last year and not so much since like the winter, but I am happy to have it and it's, it's good to have. They also have other shades which are also really pretty, but I just get the most wear out of purple, so... I got purple. The next thing from Black Moon Cosmetics I use with every makeup and it's their Moonlighter in shade Squid. It's a simple white one. I don't know how you will see the swatch. It's right here. It's a simple white one highlighter and it, it looks really like natural. It is like not too opaque but you can build it up to be super opaque and yeah it's just really good product as for highlighters this is the best i had and i'm really thinking to get also a purplish one which is called cat shark i believe but for now i have the white one and i'm really happy with it this was like a good purchase and also uh, it's a little bit dusty but look how pretty the mirror is and with my last purchase of lipsticks, like when I got Ashes and Haunting, I found a little gift in my package and it was this brush. Originally it is a lip brush, but I love to use it uh, for cosmic eye dust when I put it on my eyelids. And I just wish they sold their brushes separately because they are so good and so pretty like look look at it 
it's it's so pretty and they have their, their logo here and the brush itself it's really soft and nice because they they have um, besides this one they, they have eyeshadow brush and also face brush I think like for highlighter and I would really love to get both of them but the eyeshadow brush comes only with their palette uh, orb of light which I guess it's really nice palette when you wear those shades but I don't really wear like neutrals and like oranges and I think it has red and I would prefer something cool tone because I don't really like the shades they chose for their first palette and I really hope like they will either start selling brushes separately or they will come up with a palette I would really like and I would use because I'm not like I basically use purple, black, grey and white and yeah just or if they come with a glitter palette or something but I don't wear the shades that are in the palette but yeah I would really love to get more of their brushes because they're really good so that was all for this like long postponed video hopefully you liked it if you did you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions put them in the comments down below and hopefully I will see you in my next video on the next Friday bye bye